Hello everyone, Al here with ZOM 100 Episode 2 Review. At first we see Akira wake up from a nightmare, relieved to remember that he no longer has to go to work due to the ongoing zombie apocalypse. As he enjoys his newfound freedom, he spends his time drinking beer and cleaning his home, thoroughly enjoying the absence of work-related stress. In another scene, a news reporter is seen reporting on the chaos and madness caused by the zombie apocalypse. Unfortunately, she gets attacked and meets a grim fate before Akira's eyes as he watches the news. Despite witnessing the horrors of the situation, Akira momentarily contemplates his predicament. However, he quickly dismisses these thoughts and decides to cope with the situation by indulging in more beer, finding comfort in the present moment. This part shows that nothing is really phasing Akira at this point, he doesn't care whether the world ends or he dies, he just wants to live in the moment and fulfill his 100 desires. This goes to show how much he had to endure at his workplace and it's kinda too scary to think about because many people in Japan suffer from overwork just like this in real life. We see that with his beer supply depleted, Akira is compelled to leave his home to restock. He encounters a couple who have managed to avoid turning into zombies. Seeing an opportunity, Akira shares his situation and survival plans with them. He assures the couple that he will return with supplies for them after his trip to the store. Despite the dire circumstances, Akira remains determined to make the best of the zombie apocalypse and help others along the way. It seems that people are turning into zombies in waves rather than all at once so I'm thinking there might be a mastermind behind all this. Next we see that at the store, Akira spots a girl drinking water and decides to approach her while grabbing some beer. He tries to exchange numbers with her, but she declines and scolds him for risking his life for something as trivial as beer. The girl expresses her disdain for teaming up with someone who doesn't have his priorities straight. As a group of zombies enters the store, the situation quickly becomes dangerous. The girl takes action and saves Akira from a truck that crashes into the store, intending to kill the zombies. Akira expresses his gratitude to her for saving him. However, he soon realizes that his bike has been damaged due to the impact of the truck. Despite the setback, he remains determined to navigate through the challenges of the zombie apocalypse and with the help of the girl, he may find new paths to survival and maybe even a change in priorities. I can fully understand why the girl reacted like that, I mean no normal person would go outside to grab some beer in such a hellish situation. Also the girl is really beautiful. Moving on we see that heartbroken by the scene he witnesses at the Kosaka's home, Akira returns to his own place, feeling a mix of sadness and uncertainty about his life. In an attempt to cope with the overwhelming emotions, he takes out his bucket list and starts checking off some of the items, trying to find solace in pursuing his dreams even amidst the chaos of the zombie apocalypse. As he works through the list, he experiences a mix of emotions, reflecting on the things he wanted to accomplish and the life he had envisioned before the outbreak. Eventually, fatigue takes over, and he decides to call it a night, hoping that tomorrow might bring him new hope and a chance to survive and thrive in this harsh new world. It's sad to see that Akira was under so much pressure that he forgot his own desires. Also it seems like reality is finally starting to hit him and that's making him even more determined. In a flashback at the end we see the girl Akira met at the store engaging in a workout while listening to the emergency broadcast on her radio. Despite attempting to contact the LA station, she receives no response, so she starts making a list of things to do to avoid becoming a zombie. Using binoculars, she observes the various types of zombies outside and takes notes. Later, she heads out of her home to gather essential supplies, but the temptation to get her favorite dessert, Sakura Machi, arises. Unexpectedly, Akira enters the store singing his beer song, and we get the girl's perspective on the situation and her impression of Akira. She has a camera on her bike, which captures footage of the car before it crashes into the store. After returning home, she reviews the footage and spots Akira before he enters the building. She contemplates whether she should have gotten the Sakura Machi at the store. 
So it seems like some people were already expecting a situation like this to occur and were preparing for it. It proves that there is definitely something behind it. Also, it seems like that the girl is the total opposite of Akira. Overall, it was a good episode, and I hope we will get to see the main plot points soon enough. As always, thanks for watching, everyone. If you like my video and want to see me make more, then hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to say something, then leave a comment. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page. Links are given in the description. Until then, see ya.